Evening guys, how you all doing? Uh, it's Dan's Tool Room here, it's Dan from Dan's Tool Room and here is another video and today we're going to be talking about Weera's entry level screwdriver set, the VDE set. Now I've had this um, given me as a company set. Um, I do tend to prefer my, you use my own tools so I'm not sure how much these are going to get used. So what I've done, i put these in my install bag just to get hold of them. Now, I'm not going to do an unboxing, guys. They are brand new. They haven't been used, but, you know, this is the box, okay? Um, to be honest, when people do unboxings, you know, each to their own, um, I do find it a bit tedious um, listening to someone talk about a box for 10 minutes um, before they actually get to the tool. And me personally, I'm just like, oh, come on, let's, let's just get to the tool review, yeah? So that's my personal review. So I'm not going to be much of an unboxing guy. I'm not really interested. If you guys really want me to do unboxings, let me know in the comments and I will do it. But that's the box, okay? Nice Vera Craft Foam box. Usual Vera quality, or Vera, should we say. I am aware it's Vera for anyone comments, but I'm just going to talk the British way. And to me, it says Vera, okay? Um, now, compared to a normal box, you don't really get the little pulley up tab there to hang it on and stuff, but. It's just, that's really all I have to say about the box. It's a box. Who gives a crap? Right. Okay, so these are the screwdrivers. Okay, so these are the Craft Form Comforts. And in this pack, and now these are going to set you back. These ones, I believe, cost about £18. Okay, so your normal ones, your Craft Form, your proper Craft Form ones are going to cost you about 30 I'd say give or take. I mean, you can always get bargains, but I'm talking give or take. Now, if we get um, some proper craft form ones out here, um, I've got a few in here, a range of them, just compare them to. Okay, these are the proper craft form ones. Um, there's a long one there, kind of a craft form. Okay, so you can see that they've got the indented pattern in, in there, okay, but they haven't really bothered to put the uh, they haven't actually bothered to put the actual grip in, the yellow grip. So you do get the yellow ends on these, which you don't get on, well, at least you don't get them on this one. Anyway, these are the these are the interchangeable ones. Um, what I like about them, it does tell you exactly what it is at the end. So when they're upside down your toolbox, you can just see. Um, and it does have the, uh, it does go slimmer at the end there. Okay, so to fit into so the smaller terminals and things. You've got exactly the same shape as you do with the normal craft forms, okay? But again, you, you just don't get the colour. Now, the printing's a little bit different. I mean, on, on a normal craft form, you'll see it's all the same colour. And you get the printing on the end there. These ones are a little bit more colourful on the end. And it's sort of just stamped on there, all the information, the thousand volt tested, and what model it is. And it kind of does look... They do kind of make them look a little bit bottom of the range. Um... Like, it just does look like it's just a little bit of information there for you, just just so you know what it is. And it doesn't look, you know, it, it just doesn't have that sort of special feel as the others. And I don't think, to be honest, the machining's quite as nice on them. Um, you know, it, you know, to be fair, it's probably made in the same press as the other ones. I don't know, but it just doesn't feel quite quite as nice quality as these ones do um, with the machine-wise. But if I was to compare them, for example, to say... I'm going to say these because these are about 18, 19 quid, I think, and these ones are about a five or more, okay? So if I was to compare it to the Weeha version, now that's the same screwdriver there, the same size, this one is a far bigger screwdriver, I'd say, and they're actually far closer in design to the Weeha ones than they are to the uh, the Weeha counterparts, aren't they, when you look at them? They've got the yellow on the top, uh, the right the labeling on the top there you've got the yellow bottom and the printing on the bottom and these have just got a slightly fancier shaft on them they've got the soft feel the soft grip the, these vihar ones they feel a bit nicer and these ones are more sort of rubbery and a bit cheaper feeling but then in general uh we are, are more rubbery feeling anyway aren't they so um you know you got that so you get a good range of screwdrivers. Um, you get the uh, 5.5 flathead. You get the uh, PH2, 100mm uh, shaft on that. You get the um, another flathead. That's the uh, a four. That's the 4mm flathead. You get a PH1 with an 80mm shaft. 
you get a what's this one? This sorry, this is a three point five flathead with a uh, with it doesn't say what size the shaft of that is, but who cares? And then you get the two point five terminal flathead, and of course, then you get this thing. Um, now this is the bit of a letdown actually for you. This feels really quite horrible. This does this little, um, this little tester screwdriver. Um, if you look at that, I mean the the plastic. Can you actually see that the 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 plastic? It looks like it's all rough and it's just not really very nice at all. This isn't. Um, and if you compare this to say um, the V hot screwdriver, the V hot terminal. See this one. This one's quite nice. You know, it's got um, it's nicely finished. It's 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 nicely pointed. Whereas the the the, the Weir one's really not very nice at all. I was quite surprised because one thing I will say about Weir stuff, it is generally really nice quality. But you know, this is this is the entry level one, and who really use test? Who do we? I don't know. Do you tell me. Does anyone really use these tester tr drivers? I mean, the button on the end there. I mean, you you can't even feel it. It's just you know you can see the spring there and stuff in it but i don't even know if that is a button it's just it just feels horrible it is it's, it's just not tactile at all so you know if you are you know an apprentice on a budget you know these these screwdrivers are great if you want to make if you want a named screwdriver these are going to be great um you know they have got that comfortable feeling about them they will be well engineered they will be well made uh, we are normally made in the czech republic although they are a german company but you know there's never been any issues with quality you do get the slimmer you do get the slimmer necks on them as well which is useful in some circumstances um but yeah um they're a good entry level sort of set of screwdrivers but you know for me personally on these ones depending on how you feel about the handles it's kind of a sort of smaller one, yeah. If you like a longer screwdriver, then the the V hars tend to be the the better bet because each screwdriver is slightly longer. Um, the handles on these ones, I'd say, it depends really on your point of view, doesn't it? They are bigger, chunkier handles, and some people don't like that. Where these are designed to mould into your hand, but you could argue with a Wiro. Well, who who uses a screwdriver like that? You don't really do. You you know you. Sorry, you sort of, uh, you know, you just get a wee hand turning like that. So in some cases, when you turn it like that, these these Weeha ones are actually a bit more comfortable. Um, so for me, for the extra fiver, I'd say these these Weeha ones are a nicer set than these ones. <laughs> but then I do prefer the, the actual proper craft form ones to the Weehas, my personal opinion. But then they do cost a little bit more. So yeah, this is the entry level one. I haven't tested them yet, um, you know, and uh, but I will have a little go with them. I'll see what they like. Um, I don't really know how high the shafts come up in here either. I'll have to get a magnet and check that to see, you know, how high they come up compared to the normal ones. But yeah, I mean, they feel solid. They feel they feel nice enough. Um, they don't feel like they're gonna break. And at the end of the day, it, it is a screwdriver. I'm not one of these people who talks about the you know the the quality and performance of the screwdriver. That said, however. Uh, Weera are very famous for their laser-ended screwdrivers, okay? Now that's something you don't get with these. You don't get a laser-tipped edge on these screwdrivers. That's just that's just for the, the top of the range ones, okay? You don't get that. Um, but that said also, something to bear in mind, I mean, this is the proper craft form one. On the smaller ones, this is a four mil, you don't get, you don't get the laser edge on them either, okay? So the smaller screwdrivers, you don't get that. You only get that on the larger ones. The newer um, craft form now, the VDE ones, the more expensive versions, they tend to have the, the gold tip laser, laser edges on them and they look really nice, to be fair. Um, but yeah, for 18 quid, you can't really go wrong. Now, what's going to be an interesting comparison, I might try and get hold of myself, uh, set a sort of comparably, comparatively priced Stanley's because... You know these are these are the nicer the these are the nicer Vihar ones. They are the they are the nicer quality screwdrivers. They're a more expensive set. They just happen not to be as expensive as these. Um, but you know these two, for example, here we got these. Uh, let's find the uh, terminal. Here we are. So these two point fives here. These 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 two here are are comparatively priced screwdrivers. Okay, these are competitors to each other. So you can kind of expect these to be nicer than 
those okay but these are going to be more expensive than these so it's worth bearing in mind but other makes are available also because you've got for example fair terminal it we got the Kleins as well now the Klein one now that one I must say doesn't feel quite as nice in the hand as these do as any of these do because you've got this sort of ridged effect and it, it doesn't particularly feel very nice it feels like if you use that for long enough uh, you know it, it would kind of give you blisters on your fingers i personally don't find that particularly comfortable to use but the reason i've got this is because klein do give a really good warranty and you can pretty much if you break one of these you can pretty much walk into a store and they'll just give you a new one no questions asked um i haven't tested out the warranties on any of these yet to see what they're like and how they hold up so Really then, we are testing them and we are going further. There's there's not a lot to say about this. To sum up, um, I'd say they are, you know, they're not, a, they're not as nice as the Vihar ones and they're certainly not as nice as the higher up the range craft forms. They are a lot cheaper. You know, they're nearly half the price of the craft forms. Um, the, they're confusing these weirers because they're all called craft forms, okay? They're all called craft forms, but these are the craft form comforts, okay? So we'll just call these the comforts. The comforts, they're a far lower price. They're nearly half the price of the craft forms, of the proper craft forms. They're a little bit cheaper than the Vihars. If you're going to go cheap, I'd go in the middle and get the Vihar ones, okay? Kleins are then a lot more expensive again. Um, personally, I, I, I'm not a massive fan of those, although I've not used the bigger screwdrivers or the more American style ones. Um, so yeah, um, to sum up, they're a decent entry level little screwdriver. I would like to test out the the, the uh, a comparable Stanley or something like that to see how they compare to them, just to see just to see what's what. But for my money, I'd go that little bit extra and buy the Vihars. Um, and if you can afford it, get the get the proper craft forms because they're a really nice set. And I think they'll last you. They'll last you quite well. I don't think there's any issues with quality, but remember, you don't get that little that laser edge on them, and that does actually make a difference. It is really quite good the laser edge. Okay. Um. Same. Same rating on them. You get. You know. You still get your your protection. Your VDE. Um. <laughs> it depends if you like the look of tools. These aren't the best looking tools. They look a lot cheaper. I'd say. You can't really tell by looking at them that they are weirers. Um. Unless you look at them closely and you can see that sort of pattern on them. So if you're a bit of a tool snob, like let's be honest, most people are, you might want to, you know, get the get the more expensive ones and save up a little bit longer. But yeah, certainly for an entry level one, they're great. Only disappointment is that that that's nasty that is. That, that it really is bad. Um even you know, that that's worthy of the bin. It's it's a really horrible little little test of screwdriver. I really don't like that. Um nasty little thing. So yeah. Hope you've enjoyed me ranting on about these comfort uh, craft forms. Um, again, they'll cost you about 18 quid. Uh, please like or dislike. Um, to be fair, this video has uh, even bored me quite slightly, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but there we go. I hope you enjoyed it anyway more than I've enjoyed making this one. It's not been my favourite one. Um, but uh, like and subscribe. And please uh, enjoy. look at my other videos as well. And... Um, Please leave any comments, any improvements on what you'd like to ask or, you know, what a better way you think I could have done these videos. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for listening.